Right, so we've got here today is the uh, COK001 uh, hardware backwards compatible PS3. Um, as you can tell by looking at it, it's pretty well garbage. If you can see the GPU, the uh, light's kind of sh you know shitty in the video there. But uh, local repair shop, refloat it, put too much Arctic Silver on. It spewed over onto the board, and uh, yeah, for those of you that don't know, um, Arctic Silver. The keyword there, silver. Silver is conductive, so this board just completely shorted out. Anyways, with the GPU, it's really easy to get that IHS off. I have a little butter serving knife that I use for those. You can see it's a little bent, so that uh, it can get under there and pry it up. So, you just pop it under there, on the side in between the CPU and the GPU, because there are no components there. Um, all the other three sides have components. If you try to do it that way, you will ruin your PS3. Um, unless, of course, you're like master solder over there, then um, you might be able to fix it. But trust me, inside wall here, pry it up, pops right off. As you can see, this thing's on there pretty tight. Has not been touched, has not been nothing. Um, you'll see that once it gets popped off and the old thermal paste is under there. As you can see, the top over here has been changed, the top over here has been changed, um, but not underneath the uh, CPU, I'm I'm 75% sure. So anyways, uh, enough with the chit chat about that, let's get into the tools. The tools needed, obviously, for the uh, GPU, um, I used a butter serving knife and a um, little piece of cardboard in between here. So, yeah. The next thing, you can get this off eBay for about $7. You, you can also get this uh, in a Hobby Lobby store if you're in the United States. You can get this kit for about 8 bucks, 8 9 bucks, depending on sales tax in your area. Um, it's a little paint knife set. Now, obviously, you know, these three are still in the package for a reason, because we don't need them. Um, number three is a little bent. <laughs> but I'll straighten it back out. Number one, this is the main one that I use. Uh, I find it works better than number three. Number three does work really good, but um, for this model here and a lot of uh, the slims, there are some components really close to the CPU. Um, so if you accidentally hit one of them and push, it's probably gonna break off. So I use this to minimize mistakes and because I don't need that big gigantic thing to go under this tiny CPU. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let me stand up here so I can get a better grip on what I'm doing. So we're gonna start on this side here. You're gonna push it in, and then it just slides. Maybe, yep, there it's going. One side done. Another side done. And I mean, this is going under really easy. This, I haven't even heated it up. This is 100% dry epoxy. So, third side here. And I try to keep my finger along the edge of this when it's going under. That way if it slips out, uh, it won't hit anything. It's gonna hit my finger. So, I don't know if you saw it there, but it is starting to lift a little since we have three sides of the four done. <laughs> and the fourth side here. Uh, and that happens again. This will happen occasionally, but it ain't no big deal. I'm actually going to come from this side. Actually, no, I'm not. Oh, come on, go under. <laughs> now, as you can see by looking, not only is that the same thermal paste, but this thing is 100% completely undamaged from using this method. 
telling you guys, this video has been going on for less than five minutes at this point. Actually, five minutes right now. Um, so less than five minutes, I've explained all of this to you guys and removed this. So there shouldn't be any excuses on why people don't change it. I mean, I, it just doesn't make sense to me, I guess. This cost me less than $10. I'm going to use this, well, probably I'd say on a, at least another 20 CPUs. And I mean, that's going to pay for itself right there. Not only is your customer going to be happy knowing that the under side and the top of their IHS has been switched out with paste. Uh, I mean, they're going to be really happy about that. If, if they hear that, you know, you only change the top and not the bottom, they're going to be like, well, is this, does this guy not know what he's doing or what? So, um, yeah, don't know. Figured I'd make this for the Facebook group. So, admin approved. Michael already knows about it. I told him I was going to make this video because it's... I've just seen too many people not doing it, and it, it shouldn't be that way. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Throw a like my way, and, uh, yeah, do shit right. Thanks for watching, guys.